I don't know what that is. Ugh, it's like some alien. Ugh. Freaking alien pod or something. Hope I didn't breathe in any particles. I have taken the vow of celibacy. But wake up every morning with morning wood. This woman said Suge Knight is evil after he got shot. And then I come to her site to see she writes horror stories and she has Mark of the Beast followers. Bizarre. That happens all the time. Quickly, quickly, I got to break the Mark of the Beast followers. I gotta break that number Mark of the Beast by following her. Break that. Stop it! Stop doing that! Why is it doing that? Stop! Stop, darn it! What you gotta do is move right there and press it. Ah! Someone else broke it too. But I broke it. I do have love and empathy. That is the spider from my room. After cleaning my room, he moved. Weird, I had a thought yesterday. I'm like, you know, that spider's kind of cramped in there now that I cleaned my room and moved things around. Could the spider actually have a thought process? Like, I'm going to leave here. I'm going to go find another spot. Behold, the next day, that's the spider that's been in the corner of my room for like over three weeks that I wrote a song. That I made a freaking song. It was a cover song about how I got attached to this spider. But I think I'm gonna have to, I think we're gonna have to capture him and move him because I don't wanna have the immaturity like a kid, man. I'm all sad. I know it's not gonna last. This spider's gonna move or die or I mean how long can I keep the spider in my room? You think it's gonna grow to like a terrain? Like a big spider or something? I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to capture him and put him outside, man, because it's gonna have to end because it's pretty much over anyway. I welcome you. Today we are going to talk about mental illness. I don't mean the topic. I mean, I'm going to give you examples of my psychological illness. I'm just going to go into it because thinking it, it takes real guts and courage for a human being. To be brutally honest. I don't mean that brutal honesty where people are out to hurt another human being. I mean talking about personal stuff like, let's say someone broke your heart so bad. Like soulmate heartbreak, right? They broke your heart so bad. And then like you hear in the news, there's an earthquake where the person that broke your heart lived. And your first thought is like, justice, <sighs> crumble it. Sorry, I stopped for a second, I saw people. But your first random thought, and it's not necessarily how you literally feel, it's just a momentary, tiny moment thought, bipolar thought, like crumble it, crumble the whole earth around her, crumble it into the sea. All of Hollywood, ah! Now also the VMAs happen, like I don't watch that stuff. And I wake up and I end up so depressed. Because I see in the news VMAs. And riff raff with Katy Perry. And this stuff. Miley Cyrus with the homeless dude. And it's just something so... You ever know something's wrong and you can't put your finger on it? And it's like I wonder. Is it this whole elitist society that, like, they don't let anybody in? You can't get in, but if you get in, they're going to use you. You're going to be a pawn. You're going to turn into one of them. Kind of makes me, like, I think I got a vigilantism type of mind, like, the Punisher type. And it it's all right to admit this stuff because we're trying to make ourselves better people 
So we examine it. Don't hide it inside. So with all like the celebrities and their shenanigans, I would have been happy to hear the VMAs were canceled. So something happened. <laughs> it's all canceled. Oh, they gotta. Oh, they gotta go home. Oh, I did my hair for no reason. I got I got my bling bling for no reason. Whatever. It's like it's like human confessionals. And then you got Suge Knight in the news. He was shot twice. My first thought is karma. You know, that guy walks around like a big bad wolf his whole life. Scaring people, putting fear in people's hearts and souls. Causing pain and misery. I hear he was shot twice or whatever. I'm like, justice, karma. But it's like, yeah, like not even 1% of karma. The stuff that guy has done ruined people's families and lives. But then, am I a terrible person for feeling... I wish Suge Knight died. I wish he died. That's what I wanted to hear. So, there you go. There's a nice little look at mental illness. Me! So, 40 days, 40 nights. Get closer to God, you know? I think I've always been crazy since a kid. But losing my soul to suicide, heroin addiction and stuff. It's like you're trying to get yourself back. I'm not a bad person. I care. I empathize. But I have been walking around my whole life in so much fear. Now that I'm like doing good in life, it kind of feels like it's yin and yang. Light and dark. This world that we live in, that we're trapped in, is horror. It's a real life horror movie. So instead of walking around in fear, this past week, I've and then Robin Williams killed himself, and the stuff that I talked about seeing on the uh, National Geographic about these creatures that, and I'm looking at them like art, like you know, God or a God created these creatures. Most of them are horrifying, and I'm like, there's horror in everything. So why should I be like so sensitive to it? And be so afraid of the horror. Instead of kind of having it be a little bit of a part of me. You know? To be human. And admit this stuff. And try to find answers. And try to sort this stuff out. Instead of hiding from it. Being afraid to say it. We're on social media. The world. What is it going to hate me for the things I said here? The world isn't even with me anyway. So, I mean, the world shows no interest in what I'm doing anyway. I upload a video, it doesn't even get one view. So, I mean, is this the playing field set up for a human being to be a loner and be completely brutally honest? Now, I like people getting what they deserve. Making Shrug Nice that has been a big bad wolf for so long. You know what? My mom deserves to have a good life. I had a big bad wolf like that end up a multi-millionaire. Because they take and they take and they huff and they puff. And they blow everyone else's houses around them down. Okay, enough joking around. So now we're at the fork in the road. Do I just seek to become a per person of light? With nothing but positive exudance running through me? Like a Buddhist? You don't think Buddhist monks have bad thoughts? Or do I just... I think the answer is you just keep seeking the closest relationship possible with God. And that'll sort everything out. That's what I'm going to do. Took a nice walk, got my sweat on. And I never felt so calm about being so raw honest like that and the message of day eight is to get yourself to a place psychologically emotionally spiritually physically psychologically i said where you don't care what anyone thinks about you 
what the world thinks about you. In the end, it's you. It's God. You know you're not a bad person. Or if you are, you're making changes about that. I know I'm a good person. I know I got a kind heart. You could be a saint. And the world's still gonna hate. There's still gonna be people that hate. You could be the most perfect person. So, if that's a fact, just be yourself. To the, be the best person you can be to the best of your ability. Over now. Okay, so day eight is a shorty because I'm going to focus on praying for the rest of the day. So that's what this is about.